Welcome back to the Choice Podcast. It feels like we haven't done this in a while because because we haven't. Yeah, we well, filmed, we've been we've on the road gone. so yeah. much. We've been we had on to the film road. our last few podcasts a little bit early, but we're not bitching. No, no, we're not bitching. No, gosh, no, no. Oh, he's coming but, right off the gates with this one. No, isn't yeah, yeah. yeah. This, this one, we're like, we're ready to sit down, and um, this one has to air tomorrow. Like, yeah. like we're yeah, doing we're it like right this. on time. Yeah, like maybe, yeah, kind of crazy. <laughs> it's pretty much how our lives are. Though. It is. Say. Our lives are kind of crazy. Yeah. I mean, like you just said, like, what are we even going to talk about on this podcast? We're going to do a little recap because really, again, <laughs> okay, we we haven't we can, had yeah. much to talk about. No, because uh, we filmed all the other ones before our hunts. Now we're coming to the end of coming to the end of the year. It's yeah, the, end, the beginning of December, pretty much when yep. this is coming out. And tomorrow, uh, yeah, a lot's happened. Yeah. A lot has happened, and then of a course, lot has over, maybe some good Christmas gift ideas for people. Because well, that's yeah. I you think know, everybody Christmas struggles on that. Much here. Mm-hmm. I know you guys keep asking me what do I want, and he still it's, hasn't told us what. Yeah. Uh, it's hard. It's terrible. I just it's hard to, to be together for the, for the holidays. That's right. Oh, we all do. Yeah. We all do. Oh, <laughs> listen to him being all sappy. No, he said that. That I said it. Oh, oh. Well, that's true. I mean, she don't. She don't say that was about me. Remember? You notice that? Oh, yeah. No. Don't kiss ass. It's bad. <laughs> it's you know what it it is. Christmas is about family and it's about being together and stuff yep. like that. But we do have some ideas for those hard to purchase things for people yeah. Yeah. in mm-hmm. the family. We just do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. Well, let's start off with. When did we end it? The other one. We ended the other one. Oh wow, man! I, it's everything has happened this fall so fast. Like yeah. I remember blinking, and all the past hunts are just like behind us. I'm trying to. That so, was oh, wait, that was that was October. October. I think we filmed October, November, us, in September. Because we weren't home. Because you went to for, Newfie. Yeah. yeah, you were at well, no, Bob we, we were We were in Wyoming. Yeah. And then you went to Efforts to Newfie. And then we went to Kansas. And then we all went to Illinois. And then Aubrey and I came home. And you went to Montana with yeah. Case and them. <laughs> And then Dad came home from Illinois, and then we were all here finally. And you and Aubrey were hunting deer, elk, and elk. Yeah, yeah. Like here at in. home, which uh-huh. was really really cool too. Oh, that's cool. Yes. So I mean, it has been kind of crazy. Oof, we we've had a, a couple bit. crazy. I mean, the beginning of the season, the elk season was a little different for all of us. You know, until Aubrey and I well, came home and you know, girls rock. We, but that's we, we have know. our first bull elk down on, you know, on our own property, woo, woo, which is. Which, Awesome. It was yes. so cool. And it was just Aubrey and I. I mean, yep. it was like, yeah, no one was it. home. She's filming me. We had tags for everything. She, had, Aubrey had a mule deer buck tag, a cow elk tag, and I had a bull tag. And we went down to the meadow. We and, two for and three. Said, yeah. And yeah. we went into Which the- damn we, good. It is yeah. really, yeah. really <laughs> it good. You know what I mean? Really, especially because it was just she and I. I mean, the, yeah. that was- that was crazy. And we said, like, the first day we went out, we're like, we have three different tags. Just about anything that comes mm-hmm. in, mm-hmm. we can shoot. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And it's like a smorgasbord. Kind of it, it was. It was. And on our own place here, too. That's what was so cool. Oh, yeah. They're yeah. picking it really up our was. slack this year. Hmm? They're picking up our slack this year. <laughs> yeah, we kicked butt in a week. Yeah. We, we oh got a gosh. bull and a, and a buck in a, in a week. Out. She is on fire for mule deer this year. And she yeah. had three yeah. of them this year. Three. Oh, my goodness. Never shot a mule in your life, and all of a sudden you have three in 2023. Shot her first buck. 2023. Three. Look what that you did. Good. See what wow. I did there? <laughs> Get it? It's 2023. 20, she shot three, three. mule deer. 2023. 20, oh, <laughs> and she just turned 21. So, woo! Hey, how about that one? <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. How did 21 work with 23? Um, because it's in between. It's right. It goes 23, 22, 21. So, oh. see, it's, it's all right there. I don't know what he's talking about. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's called coffee and Christmas music time of year. That's oh what this is. I'm just saying, you know, thank you, is Best Pro, you, for making my perfect sweatshirt. Is that how you're surviving right now, just by coffee and Christmas music? Honestly, yes. If you were to go to our house <laughs> right yeah, now. Yeah, because I drove with her all day yesterday. <laughs> it's Christmas music it was coffee and Big Christmas coffee. music. There's, there's coffee oh, yeah. and there's I went Christmas to bed music. humming like White Christmas and other ones. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. You know, you know mm-hmm. what? Come on. Mm-hmm. It, it's a, you know, look, I even have like holiday big hair. Come on. Like, yeah, me too. I never have big hair. That's when and you hop out of your truck. I was like, whoa. <laughs> I know. I was kind of scared everyone this morning. the wind was Chewbacca. blowing. Yeah, it was a Chewbacca look again. You know, I was like, blah, blah. Yeah, but anyway. <laughs> oh my wow. gosh. Wow. Well, it's Christmas time. We're supposed it to be is. giddy. Yeah. We are. We yeah. are. Okay, Especially so. when you're cracked out on coffee. Caffeine. Well, cracked out on <laughs> cracked coffee. Cracked out. In chaos. Positive there should chaos. be yes. chaos on yeah, that. I actually have a coffee and chaos shirt also, just so y'all know. You need coffee and chaos and Christmas. Oh, podcast. There you go. Oh, wait. The coffee... Co- coffee, coffee chaos, podcast. chaos and christmas podcast, podcast. There you that's, go. What that's, that's the title that's of this, this one's all there about you go, because i definitely have chaos going through my head right now you always have chaos going on i know always. everyone always. we're always doing crazy stuff i don't know what it is it's just crazy mm-hmm. but hey yeah. okay so do you want to start back from the beginning do you want to go sure about 
new feed you want to talk yeah, about we had a great R&K time up in new feed. rafe was up there with us from oh, browning yeah. that was a blast eddie efforts. was up there yeah eddie got experience new feed with us too and he enjoyed it for sure really <laughs> oh yeah really he I liked he all that hiking what we through meant the by walking on sponges like everywhere you get it's yeah. like either sponge or rock there's no in between right and you think you're used to the sponge all of a sudden you hit a rock and it goes straight up to your spot yeah oh, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. it's painful did you guys hit any holes while you're walking around out there well uh yeah, yeah. Who, who, oh, oh whoa Eddie's, <laughs> Eddie's talking back on, yeah. from behind the curtain yeah, there's a couple that we might have fell into and smacked our knees off the rock because whenever oh, you no. do fall you, yeah. of course you fall right on a rock oh, of course yeah. you do oh, yeah, yeah. Not, not, not in the, in the spongy spongy there's no spot. rocks yeah. but you find one right before oh, yeah. you land <laughs> yep and then of course mm-hmm. as soon as you I make the great decision of uh you'd re- like first day you're like oh I feel good I got my gaiters on I got my boots I'm gonna go your low boots. Yeah, my yeah, low you're boots. Yeah, you little hikers. Mm. Yeah, first step right into the first water, mistake. right off the boat. Good job. I go doosh, right. Oh, so wet, wet all day. So mm-hmm. I wore rubber boots for a good majority of the rest of the week. Oh. Then smart. Good job. Yeah. Smart job. How is it you have all the right equipment, but you don't use the right equipment for the right time? <sighs> well, I'd rather Stubborn. hike and hike. He's and stuff, learning. But <laughs> yeah, I didn't put one and one together. Aubrey, how one long one? does it take him to learn, though? I don't know. He's I, still learning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, 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 right. You got to beat him in the head with it. Yeah, yeah. No, he's still learning. That's okay. Oh, we'll get my there gosh. One day. She'll be oh, yeah. swinging rubber boots at your forehead. And, you know, <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, he did the th- same thing. What? What? When were we that you had the other rubber boots on? Or you had the it hikers? Oh, yeah, he it doesn't. Last time. Oh, that's Big right. The last time, time that we went up there, why. you did the, did the same, thing. same thing. Oh, Here's my gosh. Why. It's like He's Groundhog not Day. Used to uh-huh. Yeah. Putting a rubber boot on and hiking with it. Right. Yeah, you go like from it. your tracker to your tree stand to your ground blind. Yeah. It could be a quarter of a mile, but that's it. Yeah, you only know, hike it's and it's like on elk hard surface. Or mule deer or something yeah. like that. Right. Like out west. And I'm yeah. not thinking like, oh, I'm stepping out of a boat in the water. <laughs> yeah. Just kinda hike. Do you know that <laughs> boats actually float on water? I, I do know this. Yeah. Okay. I'm just making sure. I you mean know. I had my, at least I had my rubber boots there. So well, I was yeah, ready. at least but you why didn't you have them on? Because it was the first day I'm like, I want to wear my hikers because I don't Hiked Let me like, ask you this: know, What did Rafe do? Miles. Did Rafe have knee-high rubber boots on, or did he no, wear hikers? No, he had he had tall hikers on. Oh, but I think he watched where he walked. Got I think wet. Everybody but Tristan had uh, hikers on. Oh, oh. Goodness. and everybody was, got wet. Well, I was the one that jumped out <laughs> and got the boat. Up oh, the, yeah. The shore. Oh, so you were being a hero. I was. Yes, I oh. was the hero. The knight in shining armor. Okay. Aww. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay, but Rafe, Rafe <laughs> got a beautiful <laughs> bowl up there at efforts. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Efforts hunting. His I mean, first that's moose. His and, first, and, and he struggled, right? Yeah. I mean, that was like his third like trip or his something. His third moose yeah. hunt, right? Yep. yep, he'd been on a but couple not before. Newfie. But he's been all over. Yep. Huh? Yeah. yeah. We made it happen. The efforts. Yep. Everybody up there, Tristan, all of them. That's it was great. Oh, my gosh. And and he loved it. I mean, he just. <laughs> oh, and we yeah. laughed so hard. Oh, so yeah. much. It that's awesome. Blast. You know, that's, that, again, that's what hunting's supposed to be. Yeah. You know, it does. you don't score the inches. You score the adventure, yeah. Because yeah. you you won't remember the inches. No, nope. you'll always remember the adventure. You remember the camps. You remember yep. the mm-hmm. hikes, the jumping yeah. off the boat right in the water and getting your foot wet. Yeah, all the fun <laughs> yeah. stuff. Packing <laughs> them out and getting all oh, yeah. that other stuff. And mm-hmm. and you know, and when, when you share it with people that you you know you you appreciate, you like, you know, you know what I mean, and you, and you love. It's memories that'll last a lifetime. And I'm gonna throw this out there though. Okay. Uh, I, of course, as always, I have to give a big thank you to the efforts for not have, making us pack the entire moose out. Yes. Because they have the helicopter. Oh, and that's that is, right. Oh, yep, that you, you guys had to quarter it up and get it at, <laughs> you had to get it to, to a where, high point. To where they could go oh, ahead yeah. and land the helicopter and pick up like that meat. That. Yeah. But you know what? Like the benefit that from that, the biggest benefit, it's not just for your back, it's mm-hmm. for the meat. This mm-hmm. is very the true. meat gets back in time, and yeah. then and yep. then the other really cool thing is what they do up there is they have it where you go ahead and you get it packed, and they ship it to a cold house, and then you can have all of your moose meat at home. All you gotta do is go to the cold house wherever it's shipped to closest to they you. They do and like pick yes. it up. five or seven it's, locations. Yeah, after I mean season, that's right? you get it fast too. Because yeah. a lot of yeah, times moose hunts, you don't get to bring all that meat back. Usually you donate it to the camp or something yeah. like that, or you bring as much as you can on the plane with you, which isn't normally. Yep. Yeah. Now we did that's, bring the tenders back, of course. Well, oh, yeah. And oh. <gasps> Yeah, they're good. Oh, yeah. Camp, right? Moose. That fresh, so just good. camp meat right when you kill it. Oh, yeah. Oh, there's nothing better. No. Nothing better. No. Nope. Mm-mm. Totally agree. Absolutely. Well, while you were up there, you and I, we went to J&M Whitetails. And yep. You shot a beautiful buck in Kansas. Yeah, I did. Beautiful buck. Got a, got yeah. a really nice buck there. Um, it was great. Again, you know, with Steven and everybody, it's just a family atmosphere. Yep. <laughs> and it, you know, but, but it's, we struggled. We struggled. I, I, I made my like Kansas 80 tag. some degrees. Yeah. It was really hot. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. It, it was, and the heat just, just shut everything down. Everything was totally nocturnal if they were moving at all. It's yep. been hot all fall. It mm-hmm. Well, it has. I mean, think, think about what we were dealing with in, um, Wyoming at R and K for L. Yeah. 
Like the yeah. elk were not acting like they should have been in rut. They we were leaving. <laughs> yeah, when we started leaving, and yeah. then things started kicking in and, and so moving and stuff. What do we tell everybody? So learn from that. Don't pass up the first day, which you wouldn't pass up the last. In other words, when you go on a hunt, whether it's on your own yep. or with an outfitter, and you have an opportunity, and that animal's like, you're like, man, that's a nice animal. You know what I mean? Yep. Uh, but it's only the first day or the second or the third day. I'm going to wait. Well, you can wait too long, and all of a sudden, oh, absolutely. weather changes, and the next thing you know, you're eating a tag. You know, a lot of hunters, we're, we're fine with that. Yeah. Because you made the call. Yep. But if you have regrets, then you weren't fine with it. So don't pass up the first day what you wouldn't pass up the last. No, absolutely. And a lot of times you tell me that maybe my, my trigger finger's a little jumpy, though. Yeah, you're, you're pretty quick. <laughs> Just, no. You know, first animal yeah, comes through, pop. She oh, okay, look, at, we're done. We're done. <clears throat> Woohoo! And then, then you look at me and go... It's the first day, Vicky, and I'm like, first "Yep, day. yep, yep." That's mm-hmm. what I did. I she just wants to wake up later in the morning. Nope. Have her coffee. No, because then I end up filming you anyway, so I don't get to lay in bed later or anything <laughs> like that. Now the she coffee just, part, maybe. Yeah. yeah. The she yeah. wants maybe. you to have more of an opportunity after her. That's yeah. what it is. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. what it is. <laughs> I'm I'm raising raising yeah, uh, that uh, the BS flag. B- whoop, yeah, whoop. it's BS flying flag. high. <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> but still, and, but a lot. after after elk season there though. You and Aubrey, Aubrey had the uh, Mule Deer Wyoming buck tag. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. With R and K. You did that yeah. the very she first right. day. Oh my gosh, yeah, the first day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you, <laughs> you're, right, we the you're learning too much from her. You I know. Just, like, <laughs> I know. Oh, there's a poem. It's over. Been hanging out with her too much. It was a nice buck. It was a really nice yeah. buck. But he had a lot of fat on him too when we were skinning him out. He was fat. Yeah, he really. Was. He was big, yeah. big, big body deer. And that that's winter. crazy because in some spots we've we've traveled, there's no fat on these deer. You know what I mean? I think and the in winter some, last year just huh? threw everything yeah. off. Yeah. Well, it, I think it, it did because they had, like, out west here, there was so much snow in some yeah. areas. Yeah. You know, and then, I mean, the elk I shot here at home, though, had no fat uh-uh. on him. No. But, but it was also, also after the rut. it was after the rut. It was um, third gun season mm-hmm. here, rifle season, and it was after the rut, and he had no fat and he on was him. one of the herd bulls. He was up he by was. himself <laughs> afterwards. He's you know what I mean? Beautiful yeah. bull. And we've yeah. got... Oh. Beautiful. We've he got so much <laughs> footage of him right. on our spy points. Mm-hmm. You know what's crazy I is mean, we've crazy. We, we said that we're not probably going to mount any more animals. Yeah, because we have so many. Like, just do Europeans. What was that? Yeah, Ooh. that's the yeah. <laughs> that's flying high now. Yes, flying and, and there's is up the again. first bull on our own property. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he's got to go on the wall. Oh yeah. Well, well he's, he's he's a beautiful gorgeous. bull, and I mean the whole way the whole hunt went. Anyways, yeah. it was kind of crazy because. We were sitting up in the muddy. You guys, we, we all put that muddy up yep. like late mm-hmm. summertime. We got it set up for us. And for this reason, for that season, because yeah. we knew that Aubrey and I were going to be home and you guys weren't going to be here just the way our and schedule laid the, out. Keeping those windows closed yep. helps that scent, mm-hmm. especially yep. down in that valley, because we weren't sure what the winds were going to do to you. And I mean, yeah. But I mean, it, it just, uh, we were set up ready for the open meadow and yeah. we had all the does. We saw does every day. We figured we were going to see a mule deer buck. Is what we we yeah. truly thought that was going to be what we were yeah, going to what what we we do. And on a spy point, you guys had a good buck. We nice. had a good buck. Yeah. 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 Middle of the yeah. day, Down on the it? bottom side of the meadow. Yeah. 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 So we're like, he didn't well, come around. I, I don't know. We don't know. And then that first afternoon down there, though, too, we had that really young bull. And yeah. I know you just said that, you know, you don't pass up the first day what you would. And I was like, well, I hope I didn't just screw that up. But I wanted to wait. I yep. didn't want to shoot him, so we waited. But you're and also on your own property. Yeah. You have more time. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then that, I don't know, it was the third day down there or the second day down there. Yeah, I don't even know. Many hunts in. There, it wasn't many hunts wow. in down there. And we're sitting there, and we had a bunch of does in the meadow again. Yeah. And they kept just kept looking up behind us and looking up behind us. And Aubrey and I were like, what the heck? And we're peeking out the Not windows. And all of a sudden, I'm like, there's an elk. And she's like, where? <laughs> Behind us, up in the timber? So, I mean, it was kind of, it was crazy. And, and then so I think funny. your next question was, is it a bull or yeah. a cow? And I go, can you shoot it from here? <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I can. The questions oh my that gosh. go through our mind. <laughs> oh my gosh, I can shoot it from here. Because she was so. just looking at it. She was just looking at it through the binos. I'm like, can yeah. you shoot him? Like, in my well, head, already, I'm thinking, waiting for him. He needs to come. Yeah. pretty dangerous with a 6.8. I know. Oh. I, mean. I know. And I had the 6.8. So, mm-hmm. yeah. No. Mm-hmm. And as soon as we're like, oh my gosh, we could do this. And he's close. And we could yeah. do, I mean, he was probably 150, 100. 170 yards mm-hmm. but for the six eight yeah you know and it's up in our five. timber huh she's poked him over a five yeah, I mean, I, yeah. Just, with that yeah, yeah, yeah. The six eight does a phenomenal job yeah yes. so we just you know I love and that extra grain weight I do too. On the board. yeah and that's the thing is you know i mean we have all kinds of rifles you know and i mm-hmm. just i my favorite was always that three win oh, that yeah. 300 win that yeah. was my 
That was my gun. I love that gun. But that 6.8 Brownie now. Brownie 300. Oof. Yep. But now that 6.8 Western, that, oh, my mountain. Oh, yeah. I mean, that's just, love mm-hmm. it. But, yeah, so we, we played um, musical chairs, oh my gosh, as yeah. Aubrey put it. We because we had to rearrange everything. We had to close the front window. <laughs> we had to move the chairs around. We had to move, you know, the, the sticks around, the cameras I'd around. Been going nuts with them. Every, oh, my, oh my gosh. gosh. You, you, would have, you wouldn't have been able to handle it. it would have been, no. I, I would've you would have kicked us out. Guys. Yes. Just yeah. shoot the <laughs> just, damn thing. Yeah. 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 No, this would have this been. been. <laughs> Evil eye. <laughs> yep. He'd have given us a hairy eyebrow. Raise the eyebrow. Yep. yep. You get the yeah. little eyebrow. Raise the eyebrow. get the Hey, yeah. we got it done. Making too much we noise. Did. We're hunting. And we did I make mean, noise. <laughs> yeah, we did. We, we made moved a lot chairs. Of noise. The does were still oh. in the meadow. They didn't. So, they didn't. They didn't really seem to say, care. They yeah. didn't care. It was just they were further oh, over. They just looked up there and said, "Oh, it's just a big beehive," and I hear the bees <laughs> swarming inside <laughs> yeah. there. Yeah. It's just natural noise, oh, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> and then we got set up finally, and we opened up the window to the direction we needed it for. And um, where Aubrey was at and where I was at, I could see him just fine through my scope, and she couldn't and see him on the camera. Yeah. So then we had to play musical chairs again. Again. Mm-hmm. I had to scooch over oh, yeah. And she kept scooting more. over, and I kept scooting over, and then we switched sides, and then she could see him, and I couldn't see him in the scope, but thankfully he walked yeah, he... further to the left where I could finally get him into my scope. And... You know you know how so you always say, perfect. I'd rather be lucky than skilled? Yeah. yeah, yeah this, lucky this, this, is, this is the perfect situation. <clears throat> yes. Yep. Well, oh, he, here's yes. the thing. Yes, I guess rather. this is really is a spokes moment for that muddy blind. Yeah, because I could promise <laughs> yeah. you, You're right. if you were in a regular blind or so, all that oh. noise, oh would yeah, have no, radiating. Yeah. yep. I mean, you have that blind. What is it? Six feet up, five feet up off. It's I, a, it's up on that. Is it a five foot lift up on that? I think the, I the blind is. I don't well, think anything I can walk over five foot. Straight, I can't so. tell. Well, <laughs> RJ can't walk straight underneath it, so it's yeah. not no, six. No, so it's got to be about five. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, I no. think I can walk. Underneath it worked, it. and you know it was really cool. After that, after it all happened, and I shot, and then Aubrey and I lost. Oh my gosh. We just lost it. We just because I then, loved. I love from the spy point camera. You two go in there, and you're like giddy, and you're pond. oh yeah. That I'm like oh, oh my, my gosh. gosh. And yeah. we're watching, I think your legs were, were doing. Yeah, this. I was jumping around. Her legs. We yeah. were, I'm so surprised that that muddy blind was actually still standing at by oh the time gosh. after I shot him, and my knees start shaking, and yeah, she I'm trying to shaking, film her. I'm like, you're and shaking. The whole thing is shaking, and. Then we go up to him, and then all of a sudden we're like, oh, we're the only ones home. <laughs> rut row. So, we're you know what? Row. We did it. We oh, did yeah. it. We, she, you know, you went and grabbed the bat. You went and grabbed the buggy for us, a mm-hmm. tracker, mm-hmm. and went down and got the rest of the stuff from our from our, from the blind. And um, I hung our a camera. Our little system worked. Our little oh, system okay. worked. So, yeah. but, but I hung up a camera, a little, little GoPro, a little DJI camera in the tree, and I tried to film us. You know, field dressing this bowl out, and it took a little bit longer than. Oh my goodness! We than, than most people probably would have. I mean, I've thing. done deer and bear before, and <laughs> I've been on scene. They're helping for elk and moose. I mean, I have, but I have never had to climb into a chest cavity of an elk, <laughs> and that was. Yeah. We look so like. Now do you appreciate me more through all these years? <laughs> I do because yes. af- after all of that happened, and she and I are just—I mean, we look like covered. we should have went out, and we were just covered in everything. And we went back up to the top here, up to the house, and because we had the electric buggy. Yeah. Um, we grabbed the gas buggy because we didn't know if the electric, you know, mm-hmm. big mountain, you know, yep. stuff like that. And Wait. the wagon was attached well, to the other buggy. But, but we have the Tracker 800 set up. Right. With the with the rack rack in the back yeah. with right. the with back the winch. Winch. Yes. winch. Yep. That's so, huge. Yeah. So we were able to go back down with the wagon and the back winch, load yeah. it up and bring it back up the mountain. Mm-hmm. Whole. And took it up to the shed and hung it up on your big old yep. thing up there so and cool. the rack you guys got me a couple of years ago yeah. for yeah. Christmas. Yeah. yeah, the one that it's like we an really didn't use much in Illinois. No. Really no. no, no, it's but like an engine hoist, right? Completely different. It's an engine hoist. Yeah, it's like a hoist. Yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, was that was crazy. And that was on Tuesday, I think, of yeah, that week. And the then game. we started hunting mule deer. Yeah. I have to We're tell like, you, you know what? I'm still, I was still hunting Illinois. I know. Yeah, he And was I still. lost all interest. <laughs> yeah, I know. This you is, showed up I did. home on Wednesday. I, I was did. like, what? I, oh, no. I swear to you, I'm sitting in the stand, Eddie's, and I'm like, I'm done. I want to get back. They shot a bull elk. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you, know, you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, yeah. And, 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 and poor Dean, Dean was like, Really? <laughs> yeah, and I'm like, Dean, I, I, I can't. I'm done. You, you, you know what I mean? Yeah. It was just like, I got to get back home. I got I to I yeah. help them with this elk and everything. <laughs> I got back. Everything was oh, done. Oh, yeah. We quartered it. We had it yeah. all up. Oh, oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. We were... Uh, you we know, got it we, done. Kind we, of big deal. Yeah, just we, a little bit. It was. We got it done. That we we had it hanging that night, yeah. and the next morning we went ahead and, and quartered it up even more mm-hmm. and had it all cooling down, and we're like, all right, 
we're good. Let's go Mueller hunting. Yeah. So we went over to our buddy's place there right here, like at home, Yancey's. though, you know, yeah, over Yancey's. at Yancey's. And mm-hmm. we were, at, which he has property and it basically borders New Mexico. Mm-hmm. Right. And we saw a buck on the New Mexico side. Yeah, of The course. first day we walked Bedded through. down right by we, the fence. We were, we were just Could, still hunting. We were walking a little bit, stopping, yep. mm-hmm. glassing, you know, and stuff like that. And we see him and we're like, dang it. Yeah. Well, the next day we went back over there and we asked you about the can call. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, the, hunters, the HS can call. Because, because we've had, in the years past, we've had it during this time of year. Yep. That mm-hmm. can not only works for whitetails. It works for mule deer. It raises their curiosity, yeah. and we've heard them right now, huh? I mean, oh, yeah. it's a dope bleed. R- right now, yeah. the rut, the mule deer rut is yes. dead nuts. Right oh. here. Oh, my gosh. I mean, so crazy. Cool prime see. rut, peak rut right now. Right. We got bucks right in the back here, right in front, just chasing does. Yeah. And season's open, by the way. Yeah, yeah. it's over. It's of over. Course. <laughs> but it's okay. We still see them, and we it watch is. them. It is, and we always have so many does around yep. us here. We knew oh, yeah. eventually they show up. Well, they showed up. Two After days, season, yeah. But that, yeah, two yeah. days, but that's okay. But she got her, I still got, got a beautiful yeah. buck, yeah. and yeah, yeah. I'm I mean, happy that, with him. That afternoon, we went back over there yeah. with the can, and we had a plan. We did have a plan. You know, we were going to stop, but and I didn't really glass. quite follow that plan. No, she told no. me not to stop. If I saw this buck, I stopped dead in my tracks. <laughs> she, <was> like, <laughs> she did. She did. I for He's <laughs> walking. You know, because I said, let if we see him, we got it. You know, we, you just keep walking because mm-hmm. they're going to be in the brush, and they're not. I mean, they're not that skittish. They're they're not crazy around here. Mm-hmm. You know, they're used to all the people around here where mm-hmm. we live, mm-hmm. and. um I told her, I'm like, just keep walking. And she just stopped. So what, what was going through your mind? I don't know. Something came over me. I just stopped. I couldn't move. I, don't, I was like, keep was walking. Like, yeah. Was like, just like go, a panic? go over there. Yeah. No, it's just like, oh he's right there. I need to kill him. I'm like, <laughs> that, yeah. that's she, what it is. Her, her killing See? attitude came <laughs> in is what it was. Oh she, was she was like, let's do this. I was like, yes. my captain. Captain with the crows and stuff. Did you like, he just freezes. And that's what you did. You sat there and started shooking a little bit. She was like on point. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was. As long as you didn't have a tail and it was wagging, you're okay. <laughs> no, 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 we're okay. no, none of that. No, no. And, and it was funny because you're home at this point. You yep. were home. Oh, yeah. You oh, had yeah. gotten home the day before that. And uh, we like we got set up, and I'm like, I'm on him if you can take a shot, you know, because yeah. he, he was – Further down away? the hill, he wasn't. He was far, maybe like 30, 40 yards. Yeah, maybe, like maybe I was gonna say farther. fifty. Okay, like yeah. fifty yards. I trust your ish. I trust. I would. Your I would say fifty yards ish. <laughs> yeah. And he was in a thicket, you yeah. know, and he just watched us walk by. You know, a lot of deer will do that. You know, I mean, they're not pressured here. Mm-mm. No, no. And That's so, right. you know, so we got to a point. I'm like, just keep walking. And then we got <laughs> set up, and I'm like, I'm on him. She's like, I can't see him. So we tried to take a step over. She's like, I'm clear. And then I couldn't see him. So it was yeah. kind of the same thing as the elk hunt. It was it, like a little bit. We yeah. But not like in the money blind. But not no, money, we no. were out in the open. Yeah. We were by the trees. We were still hunting him. That is what we were doing. I'd have been but we going had nuts on that one. Oh, yeah. You would have. Oh, yeah. You would have been. Guys, there it is. Just shut up and shoot. Yeah. 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 But you know what? We, You and I, we created some great memories. You did. Oh, yeah. And he finally walked out and gave her a clear shot. And she shot him, and she instantly racked another one in there and hit him go. again and dropped his booty right oh there. Oh, my gosh. Right on the trail in. Heart shot, too. I'm yeah. Saying. I'm pretty proud of those. <laughs> you should have just say. Well, the man. thing is, is it's that so cool. your adrenaline mm-hmm. and us seeing him just like we did, and her first shot, she shoots the first shot, and she racks a second one in immediately and drops him. <laughs> like Again, and that goes back. Muscle. Here's yeah, Aubrey, absolutely. and you all know yeah. Aubrey's brand new to hunting. It's yeah. just, a, you know, her a few years yeah, a into it years, yeah. and you already have it down as you know knowing even in that moment of adrenaline pure adrenaline rush yep. to get another you shot re-racked in, yeah. it that we're proud of you man well, that's yeah. awesome yeah. thank you that you was, were really ready. Awesome. Oh, it really is. was i'm so happy it was able to happen that way <laughs> i know it, 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 it was so and then cool. because i'm yeah. home rj all i did i oh, got a yeah. call yeah bring the tracker Mm-hmm. Well, it. I had yeah. my Yukon over there, and I figured you're home. You might as well bring the tracker over. Yeah. yeah. Why put yeah. it in the back of my Why truck? <laughs> yeah. You know. Yeah, but you know is. what? He didn't help us load no. it. No. No. But guess what? Yeah. There was a winch. Yes. And we used yes. the winch. And we used, <laughs> and we used it, and we got it in the tracker. There were two yeah. winches. Yeah. No, oh, three. Stop. <laughs> Snot. <laughs> oh, my God. Like, <laughs> I said, I said, I'm not here. I'm not here, yeah, which is fine, did. and we no. didn't care. We we got it done. I was gonna if they needed. They, they just did they a 700 pound elk. elk. Yeah. You, you know what I mean? Or, yeah. yeah, like like a 200 pound, 230 pound mule deer is gonna be an issue. Mm-hmm. Nah, they no. re, boom right in. Mm-hmm. It, was, it was awesome. You should just lean over your back. Just hike that away. Yeah, I don't know if I would have been able to do that. 
I don't know. Maybe next time we'll try. Maybe next yeah. time. No, okay. don't. Don't. <laughs> maybe, no. maybe start with like a hog. Oh, yeah. Or yeah. Antelope a or something. Let's just do maybe a quarter. Yeah. Okay, a quarter, okay. yeah. yeah. We can yeah. We'll, start, we'll start a little. Yeah. Get bigger. Well, when I um I picked up your elk quarter or something. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I was like, you guys carry this on your back? <laughs> <laughs> up hills and stuff? No way. Yeah. I, I don't know. She's but like, when, oh, when you have the right so packs, you yeah. know what I mean, and the yeah. frames. Oh and the yeah, support, it's gotta help. Yeah, you, you know what I mean. Immensely. And fit it to your body. And Elps yeah. has done a, such a, a great job through all these years. You get you get a quarter on. Sometimes you get two quarters, like RJ. You, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Oh yeah. And you go. I mean, speaking of quarters and RJ, you were in Montana with Case, yeah. Oh, yeah. Hoppy yeah. son, and Ryan, and Ryan, the whole family, Austin, and Tom and you had to pack out some quarters, some yeah. mule deer. Yeah, it was fun though. You were back with Jeff, Jeff Jerome, right? Yep. Yep. Yep, he helped us out. We got, uh, I got my buck with him. The rest of them, we were pretty much just running around like crazy on <laughs> <laughs> state and public. And uh, we managed to get five deer down in nine days, which is awesome. Days. And you guys good. did a little oh, duck hunting yeah. or tried? I we, think yeah, you we did, did a whole combination of everything. Yeah. Yeah. And pheasant. And coyotes, pheasant. Or coot, sorry, mud hen. Uh, <laughs> the other guys got some ducks, I think. Yeah, well, we kind of did a little so bit of So you, you sort of lived out that if it Fair flies, enough. it dies. If it's, it's brown, brown, it's down. down. Yes. It, right? And, mm-hmm. and and all those. Okay. That's cool. It's so cool. And it again, yeah. that's what hunting's about. Yeah. yeah. I mean, you went out there, there without no a cameras. camera. There's yeah. there's no cameras. There's no footage just of that trip. It's just you guys went and had a blast, and mm-hmm. you needed to do that. Yep. Yeah, it was fun. Yeah. It was a lot of fun. Thank that's you guys so for letting me go along with that, because that was awesome. Now they're going to want to know, can he go back the next time? We'll see. Yeah. There's, there's, there's things in the works right now. <coughs> oh, so there are. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. there are. Opportunity of possibly even a show coming out of one of them. Oh, <laughs> wow. So whoever but has to log that, I'm so sorry. Oh, my goodness. That, that would be me. Hopper's <laughs> <laughs> wow. like, oh, great. Oh, gosh. Goodness. Well, oh, yeah. that'll be mm-hmm. there's interesting. There's opportunity there, too, then. Mm-hmm. Okay. And, you know, when he talks like that, it kind of yeah. scares us. I'm not going to lie. It, it, it kind of scares us. So through all this and then some, now we actually are packing up. For the weekend, yeah, we're heading and we're out to Dr. Chris. Don't Alabama. Out. We'll be hunting yep. Alabama again. White tails, and then we're heading to Hoppies yep. in yeah. Florida. We're going to hunt white tails mm-hmm. with our, our with traditions them, muzzle yep. loaders and hogs. We love and that. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, that's fun. And maybe yeah. bows because and maybe bows. I heard a rumor that you guys, your two, yeah, mom and RJ's mm-hmm. RX eights. Are, they're supposed to be overnighted, so Evan, today. don't lie to us. Yeah. <laughs> I'm just saying. So I believe you might have your RX-8s. Cause, yeah, you know, and I've you're going to have to get it set up. I mean, we leave on Saturday. It uh-huh. Seriously, tomorrow is December yeah. 1st. We leave on the 2nd, and we'll you're going to need to get it done. <laughs> we have our in-house have bow tech <gasps> here. Yeah. He is our technician he, of all of our archery gear. Yeah. He is. It's Can great. you do it all? You'll, yes, ma'am. Okay, I'll You'll love it. <laughs> You'll love it. That's the thing. Sure? Huh? His archery shop. His That's thing. his thing. That's, That's his cave. Thing. It's his yep. cave. It That's is. That's I mean, where he started. You know, the gun stuff is more RJ. Mm-hmm. You know. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I learned about that stuff from him. I do. Right. Yep. You know, or calling Rafe and saying Rafe, yeah. <laughs> or, or, or anybody uh, else. You know, hey guys, Sean, do you help us? Yeah. What do we need to do? Mitchell at Griffin. Hey guys, you know, yeah. is this, oh my is this the right thing? <laughs> yes. Oh my god. And a lot gosh. of times we're we're way off. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh no. What are you? What are you doing? I like I like this. I like this answer. What were you guys thinking? <laughs> yeah. Like, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I googled it. I thought it was right. There's your problem. Yeah, Social Google media, half is BS, <laughs> right? Oh yeah. my gosh. <laughs> or probably eighty percent of it is BS. There's some. There's some fun little tips on there though. Oh yeah, there are. You try them, and then yep. most of the time it doesn't work out. No. Yep. When it does, it's always nice because yeah. then you're and like, oh, that's kind of cool. You know, I, we we're going to talk us about some Christmas gifts and stuff like that. And I think what I think one thing that I really want to get RJ for Christmas Uh-oh. is a new instinct hat. Because Why? that thing is dirty, yeah, that's, nasty, this is worn in. faded, It's like a gross. good pair of shoes. It's yeah, like a good pair of no. shoes. It's yeah, with worn, holes in worn Do you in. wash it, though? Yeah, shoes they're in, in the uh, washing machine. Every Man, that thing is nasty looking. Yeah, every once in a while. So in other words, yeah. never. Once. Yeah, once. I've, I've <laughs> never. had this hat for what? Two years, three years? It's going to be one so of those things where... in two years or three, you've washed it once, probably. No, I've washed it... Twice. No, yeah, it, yeah. Oh God! <laughs> it's gonna be one of those things where, like, like Dad has like these sweatshirts from like 1980, mm-hmm. and I go and I wash them, and I'm like, if I just throw it out, he'll never miss it. It all depends. <laughs> it all depends. You just uh, how many of you guys, right? You have you just your favorite clothes. You yeah. have your favorite yeah. sweatshirts or your favorite pants or your favorite shoes. Your you know what I mean? Favorite hats? Huh? Or favorite hats? Favorite right. hats? Uh-huh. You know, and and I mean it's just. It's natural. 
You, instead of having a closet full of stuff that you only wear three things, why have it? Just have the three things. Throw the rest of the stuff yeah. out. Yeah, I mean, so it's, it's not just like underwear. You can wear them inside out, backwards. <laughs> And then you can get three or four days that's out of That's great them. for long hunting trips. Exactly. That, that's perfect. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. You got to travel yeah, sure. light, right? Inside out, back and forth, wear them backwards. Why are you giving me that face, Aubrey? Because <laughs> she does me. the laundry. She's, She's like, like no. I ain't touching that. Don't bring that stuff home. Forget <laughs> yeah. about it. Leave it oh out there gosh. in the woods. Yeah. Okay. Biohazard. Here, here's my. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to give you my Ralph rant again. Uh oh. Yeah. Here we go. No, because this fall, when you're when you're in ground blind, you're in tree stands, you're on the mountain. You know, you have time if you have service to check. You know, you just look at things. You look at Facebook. You look at all this stuff. Yep. And, and I've got to put this out here. Uh-oh. because No, because there are so many, you, you know, people that feel like they're doing something wrong. You know, they look and they go, oh, man, look what they shot. Look what he shot. Look what he shot. And you're not even seeing that caliper of deer or that elk or that right. moose or, or whatever. And you, you yourself, you're starting to beat yourself up mentally yeah. by yourself. You're like, oh, I must suck. You, you, you know, oh, you, yeah. Right? Yeah. You, you know, and here I want to tell her, stop. You're doing nothing wrong. No. You're hunting. I remember years and years ago, Vicky and I were speaking in Harrisburg, and this gentleman came up to us, probably in his late 30s, and he's, he goes, hey, you guys got him in? I said, absolutely. He goes, you know, I've been hunting pro- public land. I don't, have, I don't have any. I want to repeat that. I don't have any private land to hunt. I've been hunting public land for four years. I haven't seen a deer yet. Now let that sink in. He was hunting public land for four years in Pennsylvania. Mm -hmm. He hadn't seen a deer. And I looked right at him and I said, and you're still hunting. He goes, oh, hell yeah. That's a hunter. That's a hunter. Mm -hmm. Because if you judge your success on the BS that's on your phone, no, I'm sorry, but you you start... You start beating yourself up mentally. You start going, "Oh man, I suck." I, you know, mm-hmm. how come they're all doing this? How come? How come they're shooting those bucks? Well, they don't tell you. They got three thousand private acres and nobody hunts it but them. They don't tell you that they protein feed. They don't tell you. They don't tell you any of this. And so you yourself look at your goal and go, "Man, I just man, I'm gonna quit." Don't quit. Don't quit. No. Learn from this statement and this statement alone and or the, is, is you're doing nothing wrong. You are out there hunting. You're participating. You're buying tags. You're buying equipment. You are truly cherishing everything about hunting that you're supposed to be. You love it. You see, you see, the, you see the morning open and become alive. Mm-hmm. You hear the birds. You hear this. You see the sun rising and in the afternoon you see the sunset. This is what hunting is about. It ain't about the damn tape measure. It ain't about how, how many deer you traveled all around the country and shot, you know, 15, 15. It's not about how many bucks. likes a photo of that deer is going to get online. Yeah. No, no, forget that. No. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yep. Forget that. It's a matter if you like that buck yeah. or yep. whatever animal it is. If yeah, that, if that gets that your animal. trigger going, mm-hmm. yep. take it. Do it. Yep. And, and mm-hmm. for that gentleman years ago, you remember who I'm talking about? Yep. He, yep. We stopped and we told everybody. We pointed him out. We said this guy's a true hunter. He hates us now, but <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, but 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 he. This is what it's about. Mm-hmm. It, it's not about going out there, you, you know, and and having those five likes because look at the buck you shot, or you know, you know what I mean. Yeah. Look at the bear you shot, mm-hmm. or. It, or worse yet, you go ahead and you you're excited and you shoot whatever it is that you shoot that you know that you like, and yeah. maybe it's. Maybe it's a smaller deer because that's all that ever you got a you chance yeah. at. It's your right. first deer. And then all of a sudden yeah. people rip you apart Our on social media. Why would yeah. you shoot so him? You should have gave him another all? year. Are you kidding me? Yes. We're, we're all in this together. Apart. I know. Yeah. That's yeah. Absolutely, yeah. RJ. And, you know? and that, I guess why I'm, I really <clears throat> wanted to bring this up is because here we have two young hunters. Now, RJ's been hunting his whole life. I mean, but what Seriously. I'm saying, and Aubrey, she, she's going to hunt the rest of her life, right? Yes, I mean, I really. Right? I mean, you guys have a chance an opportunity to make hunting fun again. You really do. Mm-hmm. By not worrying about the damn measurement, the score, the right. name in a record book. Not, none of that. But showing the people the experience, like mom and I have always tried our whole lives, is it ain't about that. It's about, it's about this. It's about all of us sharing. And the meat it. in the mm-hmm. freezer. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, how much fresher can you get? Absolutely. Mm-hmm. And you honestly, know? managing the game even. Absolutely. Yeah, you got to manage the game. So I guess my rant all about it was 
especially here, you know, we're, we're, we're coming into a, you know, ending, Christmas is coming up, mm-hmm. you, you know what I mean? And, and we're entering fat. a new year. <laughs> Look at all your hunting friends, your hunting buddies, your fa- hunting family, the lifestyle of hunting and living the outdoors, and let's change it. Let's stop worrying and giving a damn about a like, a dislike. Let's stop worrying about shooting an animal that you, you think is going to be accepted by your hunting club, you, you know what I mean, right. your hunting buddies. Mm-hmm. You like it, shoot it. That's why they make air quivers with, you know, six arrows in it or more. Mm-hmm. That's why they make a magazine, right? I mean... Let's just embrace hunting for what it is, and I promise you, we will stop declining in numbers, and we will increase the participation by making it fun and bringing back, you, you know, the, the old timers. <laughs> Us. You just call me and an the old new timer. T- no, 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 you know what I mean. <laughs> and, and the new ones, and, and, and the ones that cherish this lifestyle, because we do that, this new year is going to kick some butt. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. I think that was a good, good Ralph rant. Yeah, that was, was a good really Ralph Ralph Is that what we're going to call those now? Ralph we'll Franz? Call those Ralph Franz. Probably. Ralph Franz. <laughs> okay. All right. Wow. Yeah. Well, I thought we were going to talk about Christmas yeah, stuff. Now. I didn't know we were going out next. on a rant. Yeah. I didn't know we were ranting today. That rant was like it's just subdividing. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh. Segway. Now it's oh. segue. Catch I up segmented, Ralph Franz yeah. Christmas ideas. I segmented into this mm-hmm. oh. Christmas wish list. Okay. So what do you have on your wish list? Because we're still waiting for answers. Yeah. For me? Yeah. I don't need nothing. See, I got yeah. you guys. See. Okay, so here's the deal: is that you know we all have people in our family and our friends that they I don't need anything. So here's some ideas. Okay, just gonna put it out there. Yep. Um, what would be your first idea? My first idea? <laughs> yeah. Uh, depending someone... on location. Okay. And I'm I'm saying saying this because in Illinois I fell in love with this product because oh. we got them the big parkas uh, from yeah. the Instinct line, the Cabela's oh. Oh. Best well, Instinct cold line. Snowy in Illinois. It was yeah. it was cold. It was cold yeah. in Illinois. It was Humid, How many pockets did that? It has ten pockets. It has ten different Over, pockets. Yeah, yeah but yep. you lose yep. everything in that in you that park. I would forget where I put and four stuff. on the inside. That's well, the, on the, that was on the instinct line. It's yeah. got a fleece. It's super yeah. quiet. Super it's quiet. well it's super insulated. Mm-hmm. Um, you guys will be wearing that all winter. Oh yeah, I can't wait to hunt in I could still shoot my bow in it. I didn't have any issue with that. Yeah, it's just so warm. But then of course you run into the issue of my fall asleep in the stand yeah yeah, um, yeah there was not. no footage yeah. of that anywhere was there Aubrey? that's because i was behind hmm. the camera yeah i don't yeah, think no. i've ever fallen asleep in a stand yeah I in have, a tree I stand in a blind i have yeah in a blind <laughs> you brought up a real good tree stand mm-hmm. here's something a great stocking stuffer yeah lifelines yep yeah yeah right? hunter yeah, safety everyone systems should already lifelines have. yep, yep. It, it, buy buy a couple Put them in everybody. Anyone who's going in a tree stand or ladder stand, get them a lifeline. Yep. Because they probably, hopefully, they have their harness. I was going to say, yeah. hopefully, they're all wearing harnesses. You know, that one obviously connected from the ground up and back down. But, but the what is it? 80 some percent? 80 some percent of tree stand accidents happen walking into or out of your tree stand. It's not from Climbing falling asleep. Yeah, it's not from mm-hmm. falling asleep in no. a tree. It's, it, you would think it is, but it's not. Right. But 80 percent of it is getting into and out of that stand. I mean, there's all kinds of things that can happen. Squirrels can go ahead and nibble on yeah. your straps. straps. I mean, there's oh, yeah. so many things that you don't know that can happen. And a lifeline, what you're going to do is you attach it to the bottom of the stand, or the bo- you know, bottom of the right. tree, whether it's a ladder or sticks or whatever. And, and it goes me. above your platform. So yep. you're always, it's as got you're the climbing knot on there in or and out, you climb, and you're attached the whole attached. way. So if something were to happen halfway up, you're going to hang. Yeah. But you're not going to hurt yourself. You're no. not going to fall down. You're not going to exactly. die. Yeah. Yeah, you're, you're not going to break right. your spot, you know, be that's paralyzed. A, that's a great Christmas idea right? for yeah. stocking stuff. But for stocking yeah. stuff, yeah. there's lifelines. Because there's a lot of people that aren't going to do it for themselves. No. Mm-hmm. They're just not. So, you no. know, for your loved ones, go do that. Yeah. That's a great oh, idea. Thank you. Yeah. yeah. But she brought it when she t- t- tree stand. It popped in my head. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's a great one. Yeah. yeah it is a great one. You know what? Yeah. I also you know. really like, not so much right now, because it's cold outside right now, but thermocells. Oh, uh, of course. I mean, I, I love early season, turkey season, early season, turkey all <laughs> summer long fishing, whatever it is. Thermocells are going to help you. I mean, years. And I mean, gosh, we've used thermocells for probably 20 something years. Hoppy was the first one to ever show us a thermocell. <laughs> yeah. One of the first years we ever hunted with him and you're 23, yeah. almost 24. And we started hunting with him when you were two. two. So do you remember when we had bear camp? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> years. We would you would you would duct tape your sleeves. Yeah. With your gloves. Because the no seams and the and the mosquitoes oh, were so just... bad, and you had to and wear you... a full face mask, sometimes a full two mesh mm-hmm. face mask in your ears because they were, they were buzzing. They would bad. just 
magnify the. And we would sit there, and we would and they would land yeah. on your leg, and you would squish them, and then you we would make piles to see who could get the biggest <gasps> pile of dead mosquitoes. Yes. Oh no! Yes. So we don't have that fun game anymore because nope. of thermosel. You turn that baby on, and it yeah. <laughs> Seriously, let's, let's not play that game. I don't want to. No, you don't no, play that game. No, it, it wasn't fun. It we'll wasn't fun. But cells. and I mean, yeah. they, they make all kinds of different units and stuff like that. For it, picnics, it's not just for, yeah. I mean, yeah, lanterns, picnics, patios, whatever. And honestly, yeah, love that. I yeah. love the thermosel. That and then I'm not sitting there swatting at myself. I know, I not making so much yes. movement when you're sitting there. Yes, to exactly, it. because <laughs> that's what happens. Like yeah. Yeah. yeah, you know, it does. Hint, hint, <laughs> hint, hint. You know, another one like uh -oh. when if someone has all their equipment, you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, a Bass Pro Cabela's gift card. Oh, just because you then you leave there. an option wide open that. Somebody. Do you think, think he's suggesting, think he's suggesting that's suggesting what he something. wants? Suggesting something. I think he's suggesting, I think he's suggesting yeah. that. Take notes. Take notes. Take notes. Right? Yeah. I mean, just Well, you know, just if, if, if you there. guys get him one, then I could use it. Okay. Oh. <laughs> wow. Dang. I retract that one if, it, if you guys were thinking about me again. <laughs> yep. Hey, Ani, could you come help me get the deer out? Can you get the elk out? Can you get the bear out? <laughs> yeah. Did, did we yeah, do I'll be that? right there. <laughs> no, no, we didn't. No, we did not do that. That elk was no. We didn't need. We did not need your help for that. Nope, not at all. You know, here's here's another one. Sometimes you, you know, you know, maybe a new bow is is maybe out of the price range. Yeah. But how about taking the bow, looking on the limb, and ordering new strings and cables mm -hmm. mm, for nope. that loved for someone, one? Yeah, you, that's you, true. You know what I mean? Yep. You could call the manufacturer. And get them. You 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 know you call Hoyt. Yep. The, the, yeah. You say, hey, here's the here's my here's my husband's boat. And you know could, could boom. I promise you, you will shock this. You know because they won't be expecting that kind of stuff. No, and you know what else though too that we had a lot of fun with earlier this year. I mean, we always have our gamos. We do our school yeah. master classic every year. Oh, but fun. they also have the splatter ball. Now yeah. we had some fun that with was that. Fun. Oh my! And we were going to have fun. more fun. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean that that's fun. That's Especially the really dark ones. Yes. Was that a blast yeah. or what? You just got to be careful not shoot you out. Yeah. Well, you yeah, have to shake it. your face. You need to have that your protective gear. Yeah, Ralphie, gear. right? Going yeah. On. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, right. Christmas story. I got that one. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. That's funny. <laughs> that was funny. Ding! We wow. should dress you up in a bunny outfit. We should. That like could Ralphie. be. You both that can. Ralphie. Your, yes, you could both do it. Ain't no bleating way I'm doing that stuff. Come I'll do it. on, it would I'll be fun. Yeah, you could do it. You know what he would do is he would take those splatter balls and freeze them once they explode. And then he would shoot And that wouldn't be nice. You probably That'd shouldn't give terrible. people ideas. I shouldn't give yeah, people ideas. I'm sorry. Idea. Ignore that idea. <laughs> yeah, he sorry. Oh, my gosh. But, but it is fun. No, I'm scared. It is fun. <laughs> it is. Come on now. You yeah. know. What about you, what Aubrey? Well, this isn't really like a hunting like gift, but flannels. Yeah, I'm oh, just saying. Yeah, I love nice. flannels, but yep. I have like a bajillion in my closet right now. Yeah. I know, I know. Yeah. We <laughs> we might have overdid the flannel flannel fest this no, year. No, we can never. Yeah. We, we can, can never, never overdo, overdo that. Fest. Fest. One, the Sherpa line ones are so the nice. Sherpa oh, my gosh. oh, they're so well, comfy. You know what I like? I, I like the right ones now. with the the nylon. In the, the quilting inside yeah. the sleeves mm -hmm. because when if you do the shirt the whole it like gathers up my other yeah. shirts yeah. underneath Pulls your shirt up. those uh -huh. are like oh yeah mm -hmm. and they're I warm love them. and now we know ralph's flannel i, I have it i got them i i know Never but you still haven't answered much. any questions about what we can get you for christmas yeah i sort of did a gift, gift card. Oh my a gift gosh. No, no. The gift card's going to end up going to mom. I mean, yeah, that's yeah, true. Yeah, so you should think of something else, honestly. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> Come on. Mm -hmm. Anything else? Can't you think of anything else? Let me think. You know what Let else? Here's another good idea. Is it never fails whenever we go on a trip, if we're um, hunting in, say, like a ground blind, sometimes you end up sitting on a bucket. I mean, Alps has some great chairs. Yep. Muddy has some great chairs. I mean, there's all kinds of great chairs you can put in a blind. Muddy, Muddy's got a, uh, I don't know if you saw, we brought, we got them. They've, they've got a, a bleacher chair that folds flat. The bucket stools. The bucket <laughs> stools. The there bucket you go. Seats. That would fix the right? bucket issue. Oh, they're issues. nice. Right? right? They're, right. Like they're flat. This. They don't hardly weigh yeah. anything. And but they have arms because they fold. When you really fold it up worst and it's got armrests. It's a sticky huh? situation. You just cut a hole in the bottom. Make it into oh a gosh, toilet seat. <laughs> on the go no. toilet. No. No. Oh just throwing that but out there. There's a multifunctional hunting piece because if you want to go watch the kids Ba baseball or, yeah, or you, you know what i mean you take that not with the bucket and he still folds it up and it gives yeah. you a backrest and armrest you know mm -hmm. on the bleachers wow put yeah. it on your tailgate yeah. yeah yeah that, i mean there, there's another totally totally just ran off my whole idea of just getting someone a nice blind chair mm -hmm. yeah but just ideas yeah. Be a good blind idea, chair, yeah. too. you put ice in there or something you gotta look cooler mm -hmm. 
Oh, for like animal oh, blinds. Look at that. If you insulate That's it, get nice. and um, your butt would stay the, cold. Oh my goodness! You could get what's that? The <laughs> insulating, like just the thin liner. Yeah, that, that insulate the bucket. Yep. For like antelope blinds, there you go. And put We're ice underneath. That. Yeah. So then when you poop, it's frozen. It's like oh, a log. Exactly. Yeah. And oh then you throw gosh. that at the antelope. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Floater in the pond. <laughs> oh, <my God. laughs> Merry all. Christmas yeah, to you all. Yeah, and to Merry all Christmas. Oh, that's good a night. damn good idea. <laughs> if good. you think about well, it. Then you I pick up less room in the blind. Yeah. Good thinking, RJ. Thank you. Of course. We got to try that. No, seriously. I'm pooping in a frozen oh, bucket? No, no. Yeah. No, put oh. no, oh, <laughs> ice, what put ice in a bucket for, for, for that all day sits <laughs> Yeah. when yeah. it's so damn hot out Yeah. and see if it does. It's got to help. I would imagine. It's like, it's like the AC seats in a car. Yeah. 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 Keep yeah. your butt go. cold. Yeah, it makes you, you feel like you pee yourself a little bit. <laughs> I don't like them. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just saying. Said? It's just random. Did you hear what you no. just said? Say it again. It makes you feel like you peed yourself. The, oh, with the, the air conditioned seats? seats? I don't like them. I, I like them. the heated seats. I love the I heated, heated seats. seats. I'll, I'll use Depends the heated the seat of year. the nope. entire year. I like them both. Because <laughs> then you turn the AC on like what you do and then put your heated seat on. That's right. I love a heated seat with the air conditioning and 80 degree weather, 90 degree what? weather. It's awesome. No, you might have just come up with a hell of an idea there, buddy. <laughs> Great. Now he's that's all he's going to think yeah. about. Yeah. No, that's that, it. That is, that is it. Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. Here we go. <laughs> really? You know, it, it's hard to, to, to you know, because because you never know what everybody has. Right. You, you, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. So you try to think outside the box. You Like, you know, like we said, the lifelines, you know, like the seats, you, you know, because it's just. It, it's little things. Well, you know what? Here's another great stocking stuffer. You were just saying that, though. Okay, so maybe someone on your Christmas list already has a Gamma or a, a Daisy Red Rider. Pellets. Pellets yeah. or BBs. Yeah. Pellets. Go and buy pellets. CO2. Because CO2. those CO2. don't ever Any, go bad. Yeah. Yes. You know, I mean, that's just a great little, let's throw them in the stocking, stocking and be stuffers. done with it. You know, and it don't break the bank. Yeah. Mm -hmm. you, they you even know. have those little pistol ones. Yeah. The little, little yeah. CO2 yes, ones. We those, were are with those, that. Are <laughs> those are fun. Those are a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. So, so you like know, the one. little CO2, Daisy, and you know, yep. Daisy um, CO2 uh, cartridges, I think you buy them four or six in a, bat, a box. Yeah. Boom. That's a great stocking yeah. stuffer. Mm -hmm. I mean, think about it. BBs, pellets. Arrows. Arrows. You throw arrows in a stocking. Eastern Axis. Broadheads. Knives. Yep. Could do knives, too. And, and oh, yeah. You could do knives. Yeah. You know, Cold Steel has that, <laughs> yeah. the kit we got. Yeah, the, the, we the used butcher kit. Yeah, the, the we did kit. use the processing it. kit. Really a nice, oh, nice yeah. feature. We yeah, we used, used that a lot um, that week that we were here. Yeah, I'll yeah. bet you did. Without you guys. Because you oh. left them for me to sharpen. Yeah. You're going with that a sharpener. Sharpener. For sharpener. the knives. There you go. That's great little stocking stuff. These are all good little things. Yeah. You know, and then, you know what else? Is we used all the um, the vacuum sealers and our grinders and all that, oh, all the yeah. meat processing stuff. Yep. I mean that's not going to fit in your stocking. stocking. Uh, no. But big stocking. items. Yeah. But if if you already have it, you could buy someone the bags or the rolls of the plastic to do go ahead mm -hmm. and continue on with their um, mm -hmm. processing. Yep. You know it's going to yeah. be like filling things. I mean this year is going to be rough on people. It really is. The economy oh, yeah. is horrible. Yeah. And so um, let's hear great thing though. Let's yeah. think of little things. That's what, what about we were just the doing, HS? Field, no, the field dressing kits, the gloves. The gloves. Yeah. yeah. You yeah. can oh buy the whole pack. I think a there's six, six of them. Yeah, a bunch yep. of them in there. Great little yep. stocking oh, yeah. stuffer. Yeah. Headlamps. Cyclops headlamps. headlamps. Yep, there you go. You could. I, I know they have the three pack, yep. which we got a yeah. bunch of. We love those. Yep. Yeah. Because you put a headlamp in your truck. You, 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 no, you buy a three pack, pack and you buy it for three different people, see? Oh. You buy one package oh, of three yeah. and then you give it. See? Yeah. Or you buy three three packs and you nine people. Oh, it's a lot of people. Yeah, that would. That's a lot of people. How big is your family? I mean, it depends. Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh, that's here's, fair. here's another good one. How about <laughs> and I because we we always stop at Bass Pro or Cabela's and we, we buy do. our hand warmers. Yeah. Oh, oh you know what? That you know, would what, be what a great, great little gift. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Buy a little oh, whole yeah. box of the hand warmers uh -huh. or the toe warmers. I've been yep. seeing a lot of two. They're doing the rechargeable hand warmers now. Yeah. Those oh, are, those are pretty those cool. Are nice. Yep. Mm -hmm. those you are know, really nice. the other thing too is if you do happen to stop at Bass Pro Cabela's, they do have fudge. I'm just saying. Oh, they do have fudge. Fudge is pretty fudge. good. I do like fudge. I don't yeah. like fudge, but they do have fudge. I get my sweet tooth. I from thought her. you liked the. I know. I like the birthday cake one. I was gonna I say do, I, I like, thought you liked I the like birthday, birthday cake, cake fudge cake. there. I know. I like confetti. I know. Confetti. Uh -huh. Or is that what it's called? Confetti cake. Confetti, confetti cake? cake. Yeah, I don't know. I like that a lot. Though. It's birthday. Can't but go wrong. Birthday, you know, birthday cake. It's birthday birthday. And if you're talking about cake, you should always have some Hunter's Blend coffee. Like you could go ahead and you could get coffee. By coffee and, you could and send cake. It. That, that's you could a put good it in idea. a stocking. 
I'm telling you, like my favorite. That's my favorite right there. Coffee yep. and cake? Coffee and no, I'm not really a big cake person. Oh, well, you just said talking about cake. So I well, you yeah. were talking about cake, coffee but coffee cake. is my favorite, and I like Hunter's Blend Coffee. What about coffee but cake? Do you oh, like coffee yes, cake? Yes, I actually just coffee posted cake. that up. Did you? Today, I think, is on my thing. It oh. says whoever decided to go ahead and add cake to the end of coffee is amazing and is a hero <laughs> Is for it coffee, coffee cake, cake or is it cake coffee? It's coffee cake. Oh, did I say it backwards? You guys Sorry. lost me totally. Yes. <laughs> coffee cake. Whoever created coffee cake <laughs> Thank you. is an unsung hero. Let's, she... Here's one for you. Oh, no. She likes coffee yogurt. Yes. She just bought that last week. I saw that. It's so good. Does it taste like coffee? coffee? It's so good. Yes, but it's not like, it's sweet. Thank you. See, you don't even understand. And here we go on you our tangents. Oh, no, yeah. Okay, okay so should we go back to our stocking me? stuffers? What else, what else can we throw in the stocking stuffer? <laughs> those little portable throw-up bags. Oh, my oh, yeah. goodness. Yeah, I could use oh, no. those right now. I mean, if you really need to, you can use one of the gloves, HS gloves. Yeah. 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 So yeah. fill it up, and they're pretty big. Oh, well, that's a good idea. Gross. Or um, neck gaiters. <laughs> neck I'm getting yeah. off of the yeah. throw-up thing. Sorry. <laughs> How yeah. about this? Neck gaiters? Su- surprise, surprise them with, like, a Hunt Smart app. You can't. can't oh, yeah. You, oh, you could purchase that's that. That's true. Yeah. Like you a Hunt Smart. You can do a yearly yep. subscription, basically. Yep. You're right. Yeah. Yep. That's a great idea. Yeah, you could give them the money to do that for that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I mean, there's all kinds of gift cards Hunt out stand. there that you can do <clears throat> stuff for. Yeah, on HuntStand, mm-hmm. you could go ahead and do that. Get them pay pay for the pro whitetail one for them. Yeah. You yeah. know, and then they Depending would have it location, for a year. They can that would be do good. Do everything they'll need it to do. Yeah, That'd absolutely. Be awesome. That's a great idea. Yeah. <laughs> good job. Good I'm just wow. here thinking about uh, like except like for coffee you yogurt that, or so we don't need to. Oh my gosh! I don't know. Now we're gonna run out of stuff here. What else? Going back to your gators though, there's plenty of options because of course we have our huge. Thick flea skaters, which are yes. great for up north. Oh, I love those so on cold nice. days. Oh, oh my nice. gosh! Um, for cold but weather. of course, I mean, if you live like in Florida and you're crazy and it's always hot where you live, yeah, you don't need it. No, you get no. one of those thin gators that but, work year round. But you know what? You do. Ha- you have to realize that it's all relative of where you're at. Yeah, because I they, mean, they in do Florida, have heat, like the wet cold. Yeah, wet they cold have that, sucks. They have that I damp like, cold. That I mean, when I we go do down, it goes right through my joints. It's terrible. If you hear something in the background, our neighbors are yeah. working. Don't Starting mind. Starting up a tractor, <laughs> I think. Them. Whoops. Yeah. Um, but down there, I mean, think about it. When it's like, when we're going to go down there, the highs are supposed to be like in the 70s. And I think the night that it's going to get December. down in like the, in December. And it's going to be, I think the lower 40s, upper 30s, I think overnight. It's going to be smile. cold. <laughs> what? It's going to be cold. Yeah, but I 70s in December. I love Florida. I like, like out here, cold. it's what? The highs are usually 49, 50 yeah. in December, give or take some, yeah. maybe. And sunny. We got so yeah. many blue skies. I like, yeah. I I like love that. the blue skies. You can, you can confidently wear a jacket all day long. Yes. And not have to worry about taking your jacket off. Yeah, <laughs> not, have, not worry about wear. taking your jacket off because you're sweating. Oh, my gosh. Because you would never want to have to take mm-hmm. your jacket off. Well, I'm saying you get, you get, you get dressed in the this. morning, though. You get a big old sweatshirt on or something. It's nice. You go, you go to work, whatever you're going to do. Maybe you take it off when you're in work. But when you go outside, it's like... It's just, it's cold. It's not like oh the morning's cold, midday it's hot, more afternoon it's cold so, again. So I think we should rename this podcast to the most rambled ever podcast. Ah. <laughs> there, there's a whole lot of things that you could get. Coffee and chaos. <laughs> yeah. Coffee yeah, and chaos. Um, there you go. But but I, I guess the reality of it is is if you follow us on Facebook, we're gonna actually post up. Mm-hmm. Good gift ideas, right? Yep. Yep. So, so which is good. There, we, we could bring up some some other ones that we've we've totally forgot about. Oh yeah, I'm sure we're forgetting a whole bunch. Yep. Well, it would like have probably backpacks. been helpful if we actually like made a list or something. But oh yeah, but that's not <laughs> fun. But it is no fun chaos. because you never know. We have what, to yeah, keep you gotta the chaos. Have the chaos. Yes. There we go. That's embrace the that chaos. That would be a good shirt. Keeping chaos. Yes. Keeping? Well, I have one that says chaos coordinator. So yes. we all, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. controlling the chaos. I have a thing you assigned you guys made for, called asylum. Right, or wasn't it? Asylum. Yeah, that was on the front door of the office. Yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Welcome to the asylum. Welcome to the asylum. To the asylum. <laughs> yeah. That's mm-hmm. funny. It's See, yeah, I, I consider it controlled chaos. Because, I mean, it's it's controllable it's semi- for the yeah. most chaos. part. I mean, we like to throw different things in. As soon as you think life is just going to, we got it done. No, we do crazy, <laughs> stupid things. And then all of a sudden it goes straight back up and, you know. <laughs> I mean, honestly, that's what happens in our life. It but is. that's okay. We embrace it. Yeah. We embrace it. I honestly don't know what I would do without chaos in my life. We enjoy it, honestly. Yes. I mean, we people do. that we talk we're to, they're like, you're where? You're doing what? <laughs> yeah. And we're like, yeah, no, life's good. It is. You know, we've it's been really blessed good. over and beyond. So, Absolutely. yeah. Yeah. So what Amen. else you got? Anything else? I, I think uh, 
Did we we'll, ramble enough? Yeah, we'll bring the rambling back down <laughs> again, like they were saying. We're going to be posting up a bunch of gift ideas yep. over the coming days Stocking because stuffers. Yep. it's that time. It's, it's Christmas it time. It, it is. is. And, of course, Aubrey's going to be rocking it. She's the social manager. <laughs> she got some big yeah. eyeballs. Yeah. So So if you have any complaints, yeah, just blame it on me, essentially, is what he's just saying. Just reach out to oh, cool. Absolutely. <laughs> but blame it on me. <laughs> no, as you guys know, she does an awesome job. Yeah. Um, but... Of course, we have a bunch of old episodes going up on the Ralph and Vicky YouTube page. Yeah. Yes. Posting daily on all of the Ralph and Vicky Facebook, Instagram, all of it. Yeah. On RJ and Aubrey, we're of course posting. We're not posting daily on YouTube because we don't have 20, 30 plus years of footage yet. But 40. 40. <laughs> sorry, 40 yeah. plus oh years of goodness. footage yet. <laughs> but yeah. uh, of course, we're continuously posting. So go check us. Go check us out as well. Whew. That's right. Whoa, you yeah, thought you almost going to drop with something there. Ah, yeah. yeah. My, Ooh, my tongue, there's too much rambling going Blah. on. Yeah. I'm starting to lose my mind. The chaos so, is taking so over. So what is your what is your social handle? <laughs> RJ and Aubrey. At oh, RJ and Aubrey. At RJ and at Aubrey. Aubrey. RJ and Aubrey. Wow. Oh, and we are at Ralph now. and Vicky. <laughs> <laughs> all the social pages, all the YouTube, the whole nine yards. That's where you can find TikTok, us. TikTok, all of it. Yeah, oh, so just TikTok. make sure. TikTok, ooh. Yeah. Really? TikTok, really? Okay. We're posting on TikTok. Oh, oh, are I you? Guess we are. Yeah. I don't I'm do supposed the TikTok. To, aren't I? I don't. No, you don't. You make him do the TikTok. I don't have she doesn't TikTok. have TikTok. So oh. I don't even want to mess with it. That's a whole other conspiracy we don't. I was gonna say. I was gonna say. Here, here's yeah, what there, I, I do know. <laughs> oh my God. We will be at the Shot Show. Yes, this yes. Year. and Dale Safari and Club. And Dale Safari, Safari Club. Club. We're going to be speaking on Friday yep. night. So yep. why don't y'all you know, come in visit Dallas. us. Let's yep. talk hunting and share family experiences because that's what yeah. we're and all And you know about. what else we're doing? The Dixie Deer Classic. Oh, that's right. right. We're that's doing the Dixie yeah. Deer Classic. Yeah. It's going to be awesome. It, yeah. We're, we're yeah. getting back on the road, praying that everything continues letting us to be traveling as much as we have been and yeah. things don't change again. Okay, that was that whole conspiracy thing. We're just going to be quiet now. Did oh, you yeah. want to end this Let's up? End it. Let's, Let's end this before end it. I go down that rabbit hole. Well, thank yes. you guys all for watching the Choice <laughs> Podcast. We hope you enjoyed, even though there was a lot of random rambling going on. I'm surprised I didn't twist my tongue on that one. Good job. You're doing good. <laughs> Thank yes. you. Again, go check us out at Ralph and Vicky on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, at Arjun Aubrey at fa on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, and TikTok soon for them too, possibly. Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, we'll see you guys in about a month. And don't forget, like, subscribe. And, and Merry Christmas. And follow us. And Merry, and Merry Christmas. Christmas. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. God bless you all. Don't be afraid to say Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to everyone. And a Happy New, New Year. Year. The Choice Podcast is proudly partnered with Gamo, Adult Precision Air Guns, Thermocell, Turn It On, Mosquitoes Gone, Cold Steel, Anytime, Anywhere, 